Hi, people. Good evening. Hello. Do you hear me? People, can you hear me? Hi, teacher. Yes. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi. How are you guys? How are you? <clears throat> Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Are you guys are you guys happy? Yes. Today is Monday. That's not, that's happy. not so convincing. That's that's not so convincing. <laughs> Uh, yes. Yeah, it is Monday. It's a good day. It's a good, good, good day. Super good day. Yes. All right. Well, it's a pleasure to be here again. It's a new week. And I'm glad that we are beginning this week in the best way possible with you, with the class, with English learning. Perfect. Yes. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, all of you. Yes. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining the, joining the class. I'm glad that you're here. I'm glad to see you. Good to see you again. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. Welcome. <clears throat> okay, now we are, we are ready. Like we are just 11 people, but with me 12. Okay, we can start right now. We can do this. <clears throat> Oh, let me ask you, how was you, how was your weekend, people? Tell me. I want to know how was your weekend? Guys, how was your weekend? Tell me. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, how was your weekend, Anna? Yeah, very quiet. I rested a lot of. A for lot. me, it, it was a, okay. It was a good weekend, huh? Yes. That's good. Very that's, quiet. <laughs> yes, that's 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 good for you. Yes, I'm glad that you rested. Yes. Okay, teacher. Yes. What about you guys? How was your weekend? Hello, teacher. Hi. Uh, it kicks. Uh, very tight. <laughs> really? And Saturday, uh, I went to work. Um, and Sunday, uh, I cleaned the house, different activities in my house. And today, I go to work. Oh, no. Well, it's okay. <laughs> sometimes we have good weekends, sometimes we have bad weekends. It's, it's something normal. Yeah. I had, okay. I had uh, in my case, I had a very boring, well, not Saturday, Sunday, yesterday, yesterday was boring, very like normal day. That's good though. All right. I think uh, more people are joining. That's good. Now we can start. <clears throat> hey, I'm, I'm sharing. Yes, do you have a question? Sorry. All right. Uh, we're going to continue or we're going to start right now with today's class. Guys, look at this. Today, <clears throat> we are going to continue learning about the different managerial, managerial styles, okay? This is class number three or the third class. May you guys be welcome. Again, today we're going to be learning a little bit more about managerial styles, okay? The definition and everything, yes. That's what we're going to do, all right? Perfect. Let me, let me take attendance. Let me take attendance. Uh, let's see, Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher. Hi. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Good 
No, okay. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Hello. Gabriela Alejandra Gonzalez Flores. Present. Excuse me. Present. Yes, thank you. <coughs> Sorry. Like this, this, the flu is affecting everybody in El Salvador these weeks. Like, okay. like my co-workers, my co-workers at the school, three of them, three of them uh, didn't go to the school today because they were sick. They had the flu. Yes. Yes. <coughs> Just imagine. Ah. It's, it's really difficult to be like this, you know? Yes. They have breathing problems. Gloria Lisa Linares Galdames. Here, teacher. <clears throat> Hi. Hi. Guadalupe El Carmen Lopez Flores. Present. Hi. Jose Ernesto Osorio Moran. Present, teacher. Hey, hello, Jose. Welcome. Julio Patricia Vasquez Santos. Present. Hi. Carla Veronica Vasquez de Rivas. Present, teacher. Hello. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present, teacher. Hi. Luis Orlando Rodriguez Herrera. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. No, okay. Ofelia Oriana Arce. Ofelia is not here yet. Pamela Beatriz uh, Posada Reina. Hello, good evening, present. Hi, hi, good evening. Welcome. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present, good evening. Hi, good evening, welcome. Uh, Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present, good evening. Hi, good evening, welcome. Susana Carolina Hernandez Iraeta. No. Okay. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Hello, hello. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Hello, present. Wilfredo Sánchez. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Hello. Flor de Maria Carvalho Ugarte. Flor is not here yet. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present teacher. Hi. All right. We're, we're not. Okay. Guys, are you guys, are you working on the platform? Are you working on the platform? All right, we have to we have to have the the first week finished by by uh by Wednesday, okay? Because on Wednesday is the, the the fifth day or the last day of the week. I mean, all right. Hi, Flor. I didn't see you. Sorry. I just saw you. Thank you for sending that message. Okay. All right. Hold on, give me a moment here. I'm trying to, to get this video for you guys. Okay, here we go. I was told by the company to show you a video. So I'm going to show you a video right now, okay? So. Watch the video, please. Uh, I'm not sure if you're able to see it. You see, you see what I'm sharing with you guys? Hello? Do you see what I'm sharing with you? Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. And please let me know, let me know if you have if you can like actually hear the video, okay? El Insaforp 
Can, can you hear the video? Can you listen to this? Yes. All right. Yes, teacher. Let's go. Bajado con un alto nivel de profesionalismo, pensando siempre en incrementar las posibilidades de crecimiento para la gente de nuestro país. Nos hemos dedicado a que a través de la formación se generen oportunidades para los salvadoreños y así cada vez más, en un mundo más competitivo y globalizado, siempre existan en nuestro país posibilidades de superación para todos. Miles de hombres y mujeres han logrado desarrollarse profesionalmente y han ampliado sus conocimientos y posibilidades laborales a través de los diferentes programas de formación que son parte del sistema de formación profesional, el cual ofrece programas de formación para todos los niveles de recurso humano dentro de una empresa. Se ha incrementado productividad de muchas industrias y cientos de empresas a través de la capacitación y formación de cientos de miles de salvadoreños con programas como Área Técnica, ofreciendo cursos técnicos para mejorar el desempeño operativo y tecnológico de los trabajadores. Competencias Gerenciales, con temas de capacitación para complementar y actualizar conocimientos para áreas de gerencia. Inglés para el Trabajo. Contenidos estandarizados del inglés para hacer a los trabajadores más eficientes y productivos en el desempeño de sus funciones. Mejora de competitividad de las MIPES. Amplios temas de capacitación, específicos para micro y pequeños empresarios. Cursos cerrados y abiertos. Tratando temas de capacitación para trabajadores de las empresas cotizantes de Insaforp. Insaforp Online. Cursos online con el horario y ubicación que más convenga al usuario para la constante capacitación en múltiples temas y profesiones. Trabajando con el compromiso claro de ayudar al desarrollo del país y con un equipo profesional entregado a buscar oportunidades para nuestra gente, es que Insaport ha logrado tener un modelo de gobernanza y gestión ejemplar que tiene como base el diálogo permanente entre el sector empleador, laboral y el gobierno formando a los trabajadores, capacitando a la gente de nuestro país. Es que transformamos la vida de las familias salvadoreñas, porque en Insaport trabajamos todos los días sabiendo que, a través del conocimiento, es que estamos formando un mejor El Salvador. Con el objetivo de formar en igualdad el Instituto Salvadoreño de Formación Profesional Insafor, presentó en el año 2017. Sorry, give me a second. The thing is that there is something here that I cannot read. La guía para la prevención y erradicación de la discriminación contra las mujeres en los centros de formación fijos donde se desarrollan programas permanentes de formación profesional del Insafor cuya elaboración contó con el apoyo de la Organización Internacional del Trabajo, OIT, y su objetivo a largo plazo es contribuir a mejorar las condiciones y oportunidades de acceso y permanencia de las mujeres en los procesos de formación profesional sin discriminación de ningún tipo. La guía pretende poner a disposición de Insafor y de sus centros colaboradores un instrumento que les permita identificar, conocer, prevenir, atender y erradicar progresivamente cualquier discriminación por razones de género contra la mujer. Posteriormente, el INSAFOR desarrolló un plan piloto de implementación de la guía en tres centros de formación fijos y es así como surgen cuatro instrumentos fundamentales para la aplicabilidad de la guía, siendo estos manual de convivencia, protocolo de atención en casos de bullying y acoso sexual, lineamientos para la comunicación de los programas de formación con lenguaje inclusivo no sexista y la guía metodológica para la prevención y erradicación de la discriminación contra las mujeres. Dichos documentos fueron elaborados con el enfoque de derechos humanos y de género, estableciendo medidas que garanticen relaciones de respeto, igualdad y equidad entre todas las personas que forman parte y conviven en los centros de formación profesional. De esta forma el INSAFOR asume la igualdad de género como un principio transversal de trabajo, entregando a los centros de formación estas cuatro herramientas que complementan la guía para la prevención y erradicación de la discriminación contra las mujeres, a fin de que sean puestas en práctica en beneficio de las usuarias de la formación profesional. INSAFOR, formando en igualdad. Thank you guys for for being there listening. Right. 
Okay, perfect. Now we're going to uh, continue. Welcome to the ones that just, just uh, joined in. I'm glad that you are here. <clears throat> Okay, Ophelia is here and I see Eduardo too. Let me just update the attendance real quick. Let's see, we fell there. I'm just updating, okay, hold on. Here we go, there you go. Okay, very good. Thank you guys for watching the video. Now we're going to continue and I'm going to project or show you the book. Okay, we're going to work, uh, well, no. We're going to do something different there. Do you guys remember uh, the topic that we were studying on Friday? About the managing? Sorry? About the managing? Can you please repeat? I couldn't the hear different... you. About the different style of Managing, managing. Uh -huh. Yes. What else? What else? Man managerial styles. Okay. Uh -huh. Managerial styles. Exactly. Using the clause of who? Uh huh. Okay. The clause with who? Hmm? Yes. Okay. Okay. That's okay. What else? That's it. You don't remember more? Okay, that's fine. Go to page number 13. Go to page number 13. Okay, we continue with unit number one. And remember that unit number one is about management, as you see over there. And today uh, it says the purpose of today's class is that we will be able to describe leadership traits in management. Leadership traits in manager. Do you know what leadership is? Do you, do you, know, uh, do you have an idea about leadership? What is leadership, people? Tell me. Liderazgo. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, and what is traits? What is traits? The way of the manner that you, you move or you, oh my God, how do you say it here? You uh, lead, <laughs> lead. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the way of, of the manner that you lead a, a group. Okay, the with way or the manner that with you different group. With different kind of people, different, temperaments okay okay yeah you, yes. you have to know how to handle it exactly exactly okay it's exactly what you said traits is characteristics okay characteristics of a person rasgos características that's that's traits okay traits in management okay that's what we will be able to describe later on okay and then we have two questions here in the part number one that says, let's start, we have two questions here. One question is, well, no, just one question. It says, how do you define leadership? How do you define leadership? Guys, think about this. How do you define, or, or, or what is your definition about leadership? What is your definition about, about leadership? Can you guys tell me, do you have any idea, an idea? Anybody? Uh, good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening, Wilfredo. I guess that our leadership will be, be defined a person that uh, never, never, uh, uh, for example, um, discriminates another people. Mm -hmm. or uh, the last class that you told us uh, a word that let me see uh, call call another people a leadership it is a person that always he is or they are um, give give motivation to another people to 
to the another people could be another person, for example, or uh, for example, in um, soccer, football soccer, a leader, uh, for example, is a person that always, they are giving motivation, for example, um, give uh, confianza, how do you say teacher in English? A confidence or trust, confidence. Oh, yeah. Yes, this is for me to a little chip. Okay, and it's perfect. It's perfect. Thank you very much, uh, Wilfredo, for your participation. Anybody else? Me, teacher. Okay, Edwin. Yes, tell us, Edwin. Thank you. Okay, uh, for me, leadership could be um, someone who has good qualities and skills to to lead a, a bunch of people. Mm -hmm. uh, could be as a, as a president. You know, a president is a, is someone who is a leader. Mm -hmm. so, yes, yes, yes. yes, because he has a good good quality and, and, and skills to do things better and successful for for the country. You know, mm -hmm. that's leadership for me. Okay, and it's perfect. Thank you very much, Edwin, for your participation. Excellent. Anybody else? I would love to hear a woman. Mm. In my opinion, teacher, the leadership is the people who is convincing uh, for to, how do you say, alcanzar, lograr, get. Reach. reach. You can say reach or get. Reach. reach a goal, mm -hmm. a specific goal mm -hmm. a, a, during the process, accompany and give the different um, different uh, how do you say support of different needed for the team uh, apoyan diferentes necesidades mm -hmm. support of yes. different needs of the different team different needs yes of the, of the team yes including the the motivation is only one because uh, the leadership required a lot of uh, knowledge including know about the different mood of the members of the team mm -hmm. yes. yeah okay okay excellent there you go Okay, see, we have different opinions. More opinions, people. Come on. Participate. For me, leadership is the ability to guide a group of people uh, in order to achieve uh, a goal. Okay. Okay, okay, there you go. Thank you very much. More people. We have like like 16, well, 21, 20 people. With me is 21, 20 people. So we have okay, 20 people in brain. my opinion. In my opinion, is a a, a, a a branch level a day of well require the clients mm -hmm. uh, need a uh, and I will be all, always and be the top ten. All right, you're right, you're right. I get it, I get it, yes. Okay, perfect. Is there another person that would like to share or to give uh, their point of view? No? I think a leadership is a, is a guide. Mm -hmm. It's a guide for, for for all activities, on not only work, in the exactly, life, exactly, yes. in, in school, and in, in everything. Yes, you're right. You. Yes, okay. Hey, Susana, Susana is right. Uh, leadership is not only about work or, or job-related situations. It can be about any other situation, okay, in which leadership is, is seen or is applied. Yes, okay. For the ones that participated, thank you very much. All right. 
And for the ones that haven't, you will. Do not worry about it. And then it says, we have this here. Discuss this code with your partners. Leadership is, is much less about you and much more about who you are. Leadership is much less about you, about what you do, and much more about who you are. And uh, Francis, I don't know how to pronounce the name. Hey, he Hazel Bain, I think it's German or something. Francis uh, Hazel Bain, Hazel Bain. Okay. Anyway, the point is that we're going to see this. I want you guys to think about this. Okay. Think about this. And uh, later on, I will be, I would probably ask you some questions about this. Thank you for your participation, people. We are going to continue here with this paragraph. We have a paragraph here, a passage. Okay, it says, read the following passage about industry business mag magnate and philanthropist J.D. Rockefeller. Okay, Rockefeller, sorry. That's John Davison Rockefeller, all right? Let me, let me read the passage, listen to the words uh, oh, or listen to the pronunciation and circle, mark, or take out any word that you don't understand or any expression that you find difficult to understand. And we will discuss it later on. Okay, let me start. Uh, John Davison Rockefeller was an American oil industry business magnate and philanthropist Born in 1839, Rockefeller became an assistant bookkeeper at the age of 16. He worked long hours and delighted, as he later recalled, in uh, all the methods and systems of the office, making 50 cents a day. Listen to these people, making 50, 50 cents a day. The full salary of his first three months work was $50. In his youth, Rockefeller reportedly said that his two great ambitions were to make, excuse me, $100,000, equivalent to $3 million in 2016, and to live 100 years. Then it says, that's me, hey, and you, what the, Maurice B. Black, B. Clark, sorry, B. Clark, was the first man who Rockefeller partnered with for a business opportunity when he was 20. Refining was the business that he focused on instead of oil drilling. Rocker, Rockefeller formally founded the Standard Oil Company in, in uh, 1870. Henry Flag, Flagler, I think it is Flag, Flag, Flagler, Flagler. Flagler and Samuel Andrews are some of the people that Rockefeller partnered with to run the Standard Oil Company Inc. until 1897. He became the richest person in the United States or in the US, okay? Guys, is there a word that you don't understand from here? Is there a word or an expression or a sentence that you don't want, that you don't understand from the paragraph? The expression that philanthropist, philanthropist. Philanthropist. That, okay. The word. Philanthropist. Okay. Yes, philanthropist is a person okay. that likes to help the world. <laughs> Can anybody tell me what a philanthropist uh, is? What is philanthropy, people? It's the person that mm -hmm. give a donation for social projects. Okay, yes. That's a philanthropist. It's a person who likes to help without receiving anything in exchange. The person does that because the person likes, he likes, he or she likes to give to others without receiving, okay? The person takes care, takes care of people, takes care of the world. Uh, it's a good person, okay? He likes to help. That's a philanthropist, all right? What else, people? What else, what else? Tell me. 
Book, mm. Bookkeeper. Bookkeeper is a person that deals or that works with numbers. A synonym, a synonym of the word bookkeeper is accountant, okay, or accountant. Bookkeeper is accountant. Contador, okay, yes. Oh, contador, good, thank you. What else, people? Uh, the word del delighted. Delighted, where is it? Delighted. And... It says he worked long hours and delight, delighted. Oh, oh, oh. delightar. <laughs> ah, okay. Yes. Encantar, agradar. Yes, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of, of drilling? Drilling. Mm -hmm. Drilling is, is a. How do you call this in Spanish? Like, tirar. Tirar. But in this case is oil, oil drilling. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> okay, sorry. Old oil, oil, uh, oil drilling is a kind of a type of company that, that uh, focuses on looking for well, they use these big machines. They use these big machines that have a, a drill and they dig the ground. They dig the ground yes. to, to look for, for, uh, for oil. Let me show it's you. The process, it's the process of the extraction. Exactly, exactly, of exactly. The extraction yeah. of the petroleum. Exactly, yes. I wish that this is a picture over here. Wait, hold on. I'll show you a picture. Okay. This is what it is. I don't know if you're able to see it. I don't think you are able to see it. But it's when the when the uh, it's a company that extracts like like Anna said, extracts petroleum or oil from from the ground. Okay, they use it. They use these big machines to do that. This. Okay. Thank you. That's oil drilling. Yes. What else, people? No more? Uh, what about uh, refining? You say refining was the business that he focused on instead of oil drilling. Refining was the business he focused on instead of oil. That's, that's refinir, perfeccionar. Oh, okay. Yes. But they're talking like like purifying, because what once you extract the petroleum, okay, you don't sell it like that. You don't sell the petroleum like that. You you have to prepare it, okay, and make it look good mm -hmm. or perfect for for vehicles. So oh, okay. oil, got, oil drilling, oil oil drilling is just getting the petroleum with the machines, mm -hmm. and refining right. is preparing it with uh, with uh, chemistry and things like that. You know, with chemicals. Yeah. On chemicals, chemicals, yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. chemicals, exactly. Thank you, teacher. Else, people. What is reportedly, reportedly, sorry. Where is the word? Here. Oh, report. Okay, ambition. Okay, supuestamente, that's what it means, supuestamente. Okay. Well, it could it could be suppo supposedly, supposedly. Uh -huh. Supposedly, yeah. yes. Okay. I think we're we're ready. All right. Uh, I want a person for, but the ones that have not participated, the ones that have not participated, I want a person to read this. Let me choose the person. <laughs> okay. Let me see. Pamela, hi. Hello. Could you please read? Uh, uh, only with the first. The one that um, is selected. The one that is selected. Yes. Okay. 
John Davison Rockefeller was an American oil industry business magnate. 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 Magnate yes. and philanthropist born in 1839. 80, 80, you can say 80, 80, 1839. Like 1839. 1839. 1839. Yes. Rockefeller became an assistant bookkeeper, uh, bookkeeper. Bookkeeper, bookkeeper at the age. Sixteen, uh, he worked uh, he worked long hours and belated, as the later recaller in all the methods and system of the office. Okay, thanks. I need another person to continue reading. Let me see. No. Yes, yes. Let me see. Ophelia, hi, Ophelia, are you there? Hello, teacher. Could you please read this paragraph? Sorry. Okay. Yes, I'm marking. Making. And making some I dice. I diffuse. I salad. I fold this breeze. I dredge mortar. I war was reporting. Resas, I does I this to gray ambition. I went to fish. I went to mark and city. This is one one hundred thousand. One hundred thousand dollars. One hundred thousand dollars. Equivalent a two three million. Million dollars in Honda. Did you finish? Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you for reading. Let me see another person here. Hmm. Okay, let's go with Sulma. Sulma Rosaura, are you there? Yes. Please read the last paragraph, this one. Okay, Maurice Clark was the first man who Rockefeller partnered with for a business opportunity. When he was 20, refining was the business that he focused on instead of oil drilling Rockefeller formally founded the Standard Oil Company, Inc. in 1870. Henry Flagger and Samuel Andrews are some of people that Rockefeller partnered with to run the Standard Oil Company, Inc. until 1897. He became the richest person in the U.S. Okay, he became the richest person in the U.S. Awesome, good person. All right. Uh, well, one last thing. Do you have questions about this? The last questions. I'm not gonna ask you again. Nope. Okay. Let's move on to the next part. This one. This is the next part. It says here pair work, and then it says look at the passage above again and complete the sentences. Number one, Rockefeller reportedly, reportedly said his two, uh, his two great ambitions were, okay? But what we're going to complete here is the blank space that we have after the verb said in this case, after man and after the word business. We're going to uh, go up here, okay? I will give you one or two minutes Okay, go back, go back to the passage, find the sentences and uh, type over here, type in the, the word that is missing because the word is in the paragraph, in the passage. So please do that, thanks. One minute, okay, we, one minute, one minute, just one minute.
You got it? Okay, I think you got it. Let me see. <clears throat> Lourdes, hi Lourdes. Can you please read the first one, Lourdes? Number one. Lourdes, hello. Lourdes is sleeping. Oh no. The teacher, the oh, okay. here. Sorry. You're there, you're there. Okay. <laughs> Could you please read the first one? Um, yes. Thank you. Rockefeller reportedly said, said his two great ambitions were. Okay, what is the word that is missing here? What word is missing? Uh, reportedly said. That. Okay, that let me let me see if I can write it down. Here we go. Okay. That's how it is. Rockefeller reportedly said that his two great ambitions were yeah. and well, if you read the paragraph, you will find the information there. The second one, number two, the number two. Uh, let me see. Mm -hmm. Well, Lupe, hello, are you there? No, no, well, Lupe, are you sleeping? Yes, she's sleeping. She's sleeping. Okay, Ada, in the second one, please. Okay, this is Maurice B. Clark was. The first man who Rockefeller partnered with. Okay, who Rocker Rockefeller who? partnered with. Okay. And then we have number three, the third one, the third one. And uh Jose, hello Jose. Jose is not there. Probably he's busy or he's sleeping. <laughs> Everybody's sleeping today. Carla, read, please. Refining was the business that he focused on instead of oil drilling. Okay, what's the word, sorry? Refining was the business that he focused and instead of oil drilling. Okay, there you go. Refining was the business that he focused on instead of oil drilling. Perfect, thank you very much for reading, Carla. And thank you for the ones that read and participated. All right, do you have any questions? I mean, in general, do you have any questions? No? Okay. We are going to have a very long explanation here. All right. I want to explain something to you before we go on to the topic. Here. <clears throat> okay. In this case, is who and uh, that. Okay. Guys. I'm going to explain to you or review uh, Friday's topic because we're going to continue with this topic, but in a different situation or yes, in a different grammatical, grammatical uh, situation. And uh, last, last class or yeah. Friday, we were talking about who. We didn't mention uh, that or we didn't practice with that. But who and that can be can be interchangeable. They can be used in the same way. Uh, let me see. For example, I can say Peter. P 
Peter is the man that, okay, or I can say Peter is the man who, okay, okay, Peter is the man that, oh, <coughs> Peter is the man who, okay, that creates websites. Who creates, sorry, my bad. Who creates websites? Peter is the man that creates uh, websites and Peter is the man who creates websites, okay? No difference. There is no difference. Es lo mismo, okay? It's the same thing, okay? Uh, the, what I want you to notice is that we have one sentence here. Remember that the reflexive, oh, sorry, the relative pronouns, they combine two sentences, sentence or clause number one and sentence or clause number two. Who and that connect the sentences to create one sentence, okay? The first sentence is Peter is the man. That is sentence number one, number one. The second sentence is creates websites. Create is the verb and websites is the complement of the sentence. But the second sentence doesn't have a subject. And that's why we use relative pronouns. These two, that becomes the subject of the second sentence. So that in this case, that in this case is the subject. Okay, the subject of the sentence. The same thing happens with who. Who is the subject of the sentence? Okay, yes. Subject, okay, subject, verb, complement. Okay, let me see something here. Peter, subject, is complement. Sorry, is is the verb, the man is the complement. The second sentence, is, that is the subject, creates is the verb, and websites is the complement, okay? That's what we were learning last, last, uh, last class or, or Friday to be more specific. Today, today we're going to continue talking about who and that, but not as subjects. We're going to talk about this as objects and I will explain how, how it goes. Okay, we use who, people or people, we use who, we use that, sorry. Usamos el who para personas. We use that for people. Usamos el, el that para personas también. And objects. Okay, or, or things. Okay, yes. Animals, etc. Okay, that's how it is. Yes? Do you understand? Entendemos? Yes, teacher. Uh, I I have a question. Yes. But in this sentence, uh, Peter is the man. Uh, both uh, both pronouns, relative pronouns, is correct. Yes, yes, yes. Right. Uh, yes. Uh, in, both are correct. In, okay. Okay. Only that okay, look, look at this. We can use who or that with people. No problem, no difference. Okay, and we can use that. I mean, that's extra for, for that. We can use that with objects, things, or animals. Okay, yes. For example, I can say, okay. for example, I can say, Sorry, I fed a dog that was on uh, under, let's say under, under the bridge. There you go. I fed the dog that was under the bridge, okay? Fed is, uh, is alimentar, okay? Feed es el verbo base en, pre, en presente, alimentar. 
fed alimentain, the past four. I fed the dog that was on, under the bridge. Okay, in Spanish, alimenté al perro que estaba debajo del puente. Okay, that is the relative pronoun here. Okay, that was under the bridge, animal. Okay. In that case, it's only correct that. Exactly. In this case, since we're talking about an animal, we cannot use who, because who is for people. Okay, only mm -hmm. for persons, yes. Okay? Okay. All right. Thank we're you. We're going to continue, yes, no problem. <clears throat> we're going to continue here with, with, uh, with this, okay? People, do you see what I'm sharing? Mira, ¿verdad? Lo que se congeló. Hold on, sigue trabado. Okay, it's, it's ready now, sorry. Here we go. Okay. Okay, here we go. This is the first one, and I show you the video already. So uh, this is the thing. Okay, structure of relative pronouns as an object. Okay, estructura de los nombres relativo, nombres relativo, perdón, como objeto. Okay. What I was explaining back in the in the the whiteboard was Relative pronouns as subjects, and in the, in this in this case, I'm going to explain this to you uh, and how to use them as objects. Okay. Structure is this: subject plus verb plus who or that plus subject and verb. Okay. Yes, that's how it is. It's it's different now. Who and that are relative pronouns that can be used as objects and it can also be omitted okay clause number one or sentence number one Hector is the co-worker okay oración numero uno Hector is the co-worker okay yes let's go to to sentence or clause number two here I don't like to partner up with okay sorry okay and look at this. Who, sorry, hi, it says who there, but it's, it's actually both, okay? We can use who or that. Hector is the coworker that I don't like to partner up with, okay? Hector is the coworker that I don't like to partner up with, or, or Hector is the coworker who I don't like to partner up with. Yes. Okay. Yes. And uh, the thing here is that we're using, we're using, sorry, hold on. Here we go. We're using that and who, not as subjects. Okay. No son sujetos en este caso, porque aquí tenemos el sujeto, I. Okay. In the second sentence, I don't like to partner up with. Okay. And uh, guys, can you please tell me this sentence, all the sentence, the whole sentence. Can you please tell me the sentence in Spanish? How would you say this in Spanish? Okay, in Spanish, sería. Hector es el compañero de trabajo, ¿ok? Con el cual no me gusta emparejarme o trabajar con él, ¿ok? Yes. And there is something here in parentheses, as you can see, it says, we can omit this part, ¿ok? When, listen to this, when we use who or that as objects, objects, Okay, we can omit them. Se pueden omitir. Okay, we can omit them. Yes. Okay, 
And I'm going to, how can I break this down? So la voy a explicar mejor en la, no, para que entendamos. Okay, listen to this. Let me go here. I'm not going to erase this information. Eso no lo voy a borrar, ahí lo voy a dejar. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw a line. Voy a dibujar una línea, you can see here. And I'm gonna explain this to you. Relative pronouns as objects, okay? Hector, this is the elaboration, okay? Hector is the co, it's a co-worker. It's a co-worker, okay? Hector is a co-worker. Okay, I don't like to partner up with him. Okay, two different sentences, okay? Two different sentences. Let me tell you this in Spanish. Aquí tenemos dos oraciones diferentes, okay? Me refiero a que están, que se pueden este, entender uh, por sí mismas. No dependen de nada, ok. Uh, they, are, they are right. No son fragmentos. Ahora, in the second sentence, en la segunda oración, tenemos him. What is him, people? ¿Qué es him? ¿Qué es him? De él. De Héctor. Posesivo. Possessive. Exactly. It's not, it's not possessive. Possessive. Him, him is to Hector. Exactly, referring to Hector, exactly. And this is him is what we call object. Okay. Him is object. People, listen to this. Him is the object. Okay. And we're working, we're working. Look at this. We're working with relative pronouns as objects. So the object in the sentence that we have here is him, okay? So if you want to put them together, put them together, change him with who or that. Let me do it, excuse me. That. Example, Hector is a coworker. That coworker, that. I don't, sorry, I have to be like this. Okay. Ahora vemos la oración. Hector, Hector is a co-worker that I don't like to partner up with. As you can see, Him is not in the sentence. No tenemos a him acá. Him se transformó en, en el that. Okay? Ese him se transformó en that. Okay, we can use who. Yes, no problem. We can use who. Yes, we can use it. Hector is a co-worker that or who I don't like to partner up with. Okay? Yes, entendemos. And this part, esa parte, that part, people, we can omit it. Se puede omitir. Okay. That part is not really necessary. I mean, it is not an obligation. You can say, Hector is a co-worker I don't like to partner up with. Okay. That's how it is. So we can use, we can say, Hector, listen to this, three different sentences. I'm going to give you three, three different sentences. Hector is a co-worker that I don't like to partner up with. Okay, that's one. Hector is a co-worker who I don't like to partner up with. That's the second sentence. And Hector is a co-worker I don't like to partner up with. Okay? Yes, that's how it is. Okay? In this, in this three-way teacher, Omit the that and who, and 
don't exactly put exactly the but we use period, no, no, cuando, cuando don't usamos, require the other exactly exactly when we use when we use relative pronouns as objects we can omit them se puede omitir okay when when they are objects cuando son objetos se puede omitir cuando es el sujeto como la que tenemos acá like the one that we have on the, on the uh, over here in this case we cannot omit we cannot omit them okay because we need them we need them because uh -huh. lost the sense exactly exactly lost the like sense of the like, sentence exactly like like it loses sense it says it, it makes no logic. Peter is the man creates websites. Nothing else. It doesn't make any sense. Okay. Yes. I know this is a little a little complicated to understand. This is it's just grammar. Okay. Let me continue here. Okay. Here we have. This is the the information that we have in the book. Read with me, people. Read with me. Read with me. With me. With me. With me. With me. With me. Let's do this. When it says, look at this. When the relative pronoun is the object of the defining relative clause, it is usually omitted. Example: He is the lawyer that the manager met at the meeting, or you can say he is the lawyer the manager met at the meeting. Or you can say who here with no problems, okay? Or you can omit the who or, 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 or that. You can omit both. There are some of the people that Rockefeller partnered with. They are, sorry, they are some, some of the people that Rockefeller partnered with. Or you can say they are some people, some of the people Rockefeller partnered with, okay? When, listen to this, when the relative pronoun is the subject of the clause, it cannot be omitted, as I was saying before, is the lawyer who signed the contract, okay? Yes. Here, you can usually tell when a relative pronoun is, uh, is the object of the clause because it is followed by another subject and a verb. The lawyer that I hired did not do a good job. That, look at these people, that is a relative pronoun which can be used with people or things. The, lie, the lawyer that I hired did not do a good job. Please make a copy of the contract that I signed yesterday. Okay, that's how it is. More examples, more examples here. People, more examples. Uh, let me see. Mm -hmm. Rosa Elena, can you please read the first one? Rosa Elena, yes. read the first one, please. Okay. Companies sometimes merge with companies that they find compatible. Okay. Companies sometimes merge with companies that they find compatible. What is merge? Sure. It's when they join, they join forces. Mm -hmm. okay, they work together. Probably both the companies are bad and they join forces to, to you know to grow or to go up. Yes. Okay, we have that here. Companies sometimes merge with companies that they find compatible. That 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 can be omitted. This, that can be omitted. We can omit it, okay? I can say companies sometimes merge with companies, they find compatible. And it is okay, with no problems. I cannot use who. I cannot use who because I'm talking about companies, not people, okay? Yes. A second example, Adriana, are you there? Stephanie? Yes, teacher. The boss? That that uh, I like to work with has gained good reputation. Okay, the boss. It says the bot. Sorry, the boss that or who I liked to work with has gained good reputation. Okay, see, 
We're talking about a man or a woman, bosses, so it can be a man or a woman. We're using that or we're using who, okay? We can use both. Since we're talking about a person, we cannot meet people, hi, we cannot meet, we cannot meet that and we cannot meet who. We can meet, we cannot meet both. The boss that I liked, or I can say the boss I like to work with has gained good reputation. Or the boss who I like to work with has gained good reputation. Okay. Another one here. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Sandra, hello. Hello, teacher. Can you please read the, second, the next one? My coworkers are, are always talking talking about people uh, who they have me in others' enterprise. Okay. My coworkers are always talking about people who or that they have met in other enterprises. Okay. I can omit the, the, the pronouns and I can say my coworkers are always talking about people they have met in other companies or in other enterprises. Yes. Okay. Let me see. Edwin, can you please read the next one? Thank you, Edwin. <coughs> okay. Um, the employer talks to all the people who he has interviewed. Okay. The employer talks to all the people that or who he has interviewed. I can uh, eliminate that and I can eliminate who. And I can say the employer talks to all the employees he has interviewed. All right. Let's continue with the next one. And the last one, uh, let me see. Carla, can you please, please read the last one? Thank you, Carla. Diana and Bocadelli are famous companies that I have worked with. Okay. Diana and Bocadelli are famous companies that I have worked with. I can omit that, okay? I can say Diana and Bocadelli are famous companies I have worked with, okay? Yes. So that's with, with the, let me see. So this, I can omit it, okay? Yes, I can eliminate it. I can eliminate these two too. I can eliminate this ones. I can erase this and I can erase this, okay? It's your decision. If you want to include, if you want to include that or who in the sentence, you can do it. If you want to omit it, you can also do it. Okay. Question. Sure. Yes. Yes. Um, can I say something? You know, yeah. it's, it's good. It's, it's, um, I know the rule that you can uh, omit uh, those words. But yes. for me, when you are talking to someone, it's more formal to use it. You you sound more better. I, I don't know if you have more drama or you or you're speaking better or you are a good speaker if you use those words, even if I don't omit it, you know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, for me, I, I will I will use it because it, it sounds much better when you are talking to someone. Okay, and actually, and actually, this is this this is informal. This is informal. Really. Yes, all of it. All of it is informal. Oh my god! It, it sounds it sounds formal. <laughs> it does. It is not. It is not. Yes. Oh my god! Uh, sorry. Look, the second sentence. If it is formal, will go like this: the boss whom, sorry, with whom I like to work. To work, okay, uh, has gained good. Okay, that would be the formal way. It's a little bit more complicated, you know. We're using this this combination with whom. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Easy. People, do you have any questions? Do you understand this? Do you guys understand the 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 the, the, the topic?
No. Yes. A little bit. Yes. Okay. I know it is confusing, you know. It's a lot of information. <clears throat> Here. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, here, down here, we have part number four. It says, complete the sentences using the relative pronoun who or that. Use a hyphen when the pronoun can be omitted. Okay, compare your answers with a partner. Guys, go. Do this. Three minutes. Three minutes to finish part number four. Oh, four. Yeah, number four. Did you finish? <clears throat> Are you guys done? Guys, are you there? Hello. <laughs> yes, teacher, we finish. <laughs> I keep asking. I keep asking you. Finish, teacher. Are you finished? And you don't say anything. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is sleeping right now. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Last week I didn't work. It was vacation for uh, from Minet. You know Minet. The, uh, they just said, "Okay, you have a week off." I, I had this week off. And I used to sleep very late. And today I woke up at six, no, 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 5.30 a.m. And I wanted to sleep and I was in the school. I was working in the school and I was in the school like this. Sleeping, I was sleeping in the school. <laughs> oh, no, no good. That's not good. <laughs> yes, it's bad. But I was, I was sleepy. Okay, guys. Uh, let's see, a volunteer to read number two. Let me read number one. It says, these are doc the documents that I sent for review last week. Can anybody read the second one? 
me, teacher? No. The specialists who you recommended were excellent. Okay. Or you can say the specialists, the specialists that you recommended were excellent. Okay. Next. People, continue. Me, teacher? Go, go. Yes, excellent. Thank you, thank you. When is the meeting that the boss is scheduled? Okay. When is the meeting that the, bo the boss is scheduled? We cannot use who. Okay, who? No. In that case, we cannot use who. Next. Anybody? Me, teacher. I met a lawyer who you may want to add to your contact list. I think that's, that, that's kind of, sounds incorrect. No, I mean, the, the, what you said is correct, but the sentence sounds incorrect. I'm a lawyer, the, who or that you may want to add to your oh, yeah. yeah, it is right. Okay, we can use that or who, okay? Both are correct. Thank you, Anna, for reading. Uh, anybody else with number five? Me? It's a building, we could use to expand our business. Okay. There's a building that we could use to expand our business. We cannot use who in that case. Uh, can you hold me? Who said me? Me, teacher. <laughs> Sorry, me. <laughs> okay, Ms. Gonzalez, go. Okay, uh, who were the college that you were talking to? Colleagues. Colleagues. Colleagues, okay. Who were the colleagues that you were talking to? That you were talking to? Okay, people. We cannot meet, we cannot meet who or that in all these sentences, okay? In all of them, we cannot meet them in all, we can include them, we can place them there in the space, or we cannot meet them, okay? That's how it is. Very good. Now we're going to continue. I have another activity here in a different document, but we will do that one at the end if we have some time. Now we're going to start uh, working on this part number five. We have plenty of time to finish this activity. It says, your turn. Choose a renowned person from the world of business you can look up as an example of leadership. Prepare a mini presentation about that person, okay? So that means you're going to, you're going to think of a person okay, that has good uh, leadership skills, okay, that you know, maybe this person is still alive or dead, it doesn't matter, okay? It can be a person that has good business leadership, that's what it says here. And uh, you're going to prepare a mini presentation about this person, probably with a picture, a name, or something, okay, about this person, all right, yes. What you can do is uh, go to, to uh, uh, how can I say this? Go to the web, find a picture of the person, the name, and then read the information. Do not copy the information that you read, okay? Write your own thing, your own, your own ideas, okay? Do not just copy and paste the information, okay? Just read and then write what you understand or the most important things about this person, okay? Mm, an idea can be uh, you write it, you have the picture of the person, uh, the name, the name of the company, the skills that he has, groups that he has led or that she has led, anything, okay? But it has to be about leadership, okay? Do you guys understand? The activity is not going to be individual, okay? It's gonna be in group of, groups of three or four. In that way, you have more ideas and it's going to be easier for you to finish or faster for you to finish, okay? So let me stop sharing here and uh, we will start the activity. But before we start with the activity, do you have any questions? No? Okay, we're going to be working in groups of uh, four, yes. Group of four. 
Okay, and I will be monitoring you guys, okay? Yes. And don't worry, don't worry if you choose the same person, okay? Don't worry. All right, let's go. Hi, Susana, Elizabeth, and uh, Lourdes. Did you guys get the invitation to join? Okay, <laughs> sorry. Yes, teacher. Uh, in my case, okay. I... You erased it? I need a... Sorry? What do you, what do you need, sorry? Uh, yes, teacher, in, in my case, I need a uh, permission because I don't feel well. Uh, okay. I have COVID and, oh, no. and the temperatures is very difficult for me. Okay. Uh, okay, hold on. Give me a second. Your name is Lowell, is right? Yes. Okay, I send you some information to, to, the, to the chat, okay? That's, that's a good idea. Okay, so drink, uh, take some medicine, okay? And, and, and uh, get better soon. Mm, yes, teacher, thank you. No problem. Bye. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Hi. Teacher, in the sample, in the, in the sentence, is an is a example in the relative nouns. No. No, 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 that's not necessary. That's not necessary, okay? Or leadership is together. So just one okay. word, leadership. Teacher. No S, on, yes. Only we have to make a presentation about the job. Exactly, exactly, okay. Um, but, okay. but you have to talk about his, his leadership skills. Yes. Okay. Okay, okay. Nelson. You say you what? The uh, Steve Jobs, the, fo the founder of Apple. Okay. The founder yes. of Apple. Uh, leadership on either. Okay. He's in essay. Yes. We have S. Uh -huh, with no S, no S. Okay. This is what you can write. The founder. Founder Apple. Apple. Okay. It was Apple Founders. Mm, no, okay. he founded Apple. Founder of Apple. The founder. In of 
76. Voy a compartir la, la, ¿cómo se? la presentación y ustedes le pueden agregar también. Okay. Me voy a dejar de compartir un momento para <coughs> compartirlo completo. Creo que si me deja. Eh, no. eh, pues, creo que sí. Check si check eh, and you, you can. I use. think that, that Nelson is founded with D. Yes, founded. No, 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 it's correct. Fundador. It's correct. It's okay. Ah, it's okay. Ah, fundador. It's okay. Carla, checks and you, you can write it in the presentation. Yeah, uh, let, uh, no, I don't, I, I can't because I am oh. going to buy tablet. Oh. Okay. Okay. Wilfredo, you can, you can write it. <coughs> Hi, teacher. Hi, so you were calling me, you have questions. Yes, uh, can you explain the... Exercise, please. Okay, perfect. Yes, you're going to choose a person, a person who uh, a very like successful business person that has super good leadership skills. Okay. Yeah, is the item five? For, exactly, exactly. Yes, that one. For example, okay. number one, or well, the group I was I was talking to uh, a few seconds ago. They show Steve Jobs. Yeah. And they are talking about Steve Jobs, you know. You can talk about any other person who, who is a leader. Okay. We have a lot okay. of people who are, are good leaders. Okay. We need to create a presentation of PowerPoint or only talk about? Well, a presentation. It has to be a, a mini presentation, okay? It doesn't have to be like a, or like a 10 slides presentation. No, it's just three or four, four slides would do. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Escriba um, good, good, good business leaders. Ponga en, en Google para que vean el de personas. Good business leaders. I can be. I can give you, you know, uh, some some ideas. Okay. Good business leaders. There you go. You have a list there. Yes. Oh, mask is easy, no? Yeah. Uh -huh. Thank you, teacher. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Continue, people. I'm going to go to a different group, okay? Okay. Something like this. Something I knew somebody like this. was going to talk about this guy. <laughs> <laughs> But this, this guy is a, is a great example of humbleness. This guy is very humble. He doesn't like to show what he has. He's got a lot of money, billions of billions of, yes. money, of dollars, but yes. he's still like, like wearing je normal jeans, normal shirts. Yeah. Yes, and we were talking about the, the, the crazy idea that he had. Mm -hmm. Imagine connecting millions this, this guy this guy has a huge empire yes he's the owner of mira mira can you say meta mira yeah yeah imagine and we are, we were thinking about him yes what you can do is go to google find some information yeah, i i have some information here and actually you can you can write uh mark mark, mark Zuckerberg leadership skills mm -hmm. some something skills that yes. that he has yeah there are some, there are, there's another group talking about talking about steve jobs there's a group talking about elon mm -hmm. elon musk yes we like uh, jason boss too jeff boss 
the Amazon founder. Ah, yes. Bezos. Yeah. Bezos, Bezos. Yes. I think I think he's not he's not the owner of Amazon anymore. I think he quit. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. I think I'm not sure. I, I don't remember. Yeah, but Amazon is a huge company. It's a huge company too. Yeah. Yes. yes. All right, people continue. Okay. We're working, I see. Let me go to a different group. Okay. Hi, I'm here. What's going on? Guys, are you there? Hi, teacher. Yeah, I I write in the chat uh, the oh. biography the biography <clears throat> um, Henry Ford. <laughs> the biography is so... okay. That's that's all right. Yes. Are you creating a slide or a presentation using PowerPoint? Uh, Cristina? Oh, no, Gabriela. <laughs> Gabriela. <laughs> okay. Yes, uh, yes uh, use I find a, a template on, on PowerPoint, so. Okay, who, who are you talking about? <laughs> Chairman. Which leader are you talking about? <coughs> you are sick, Elizabeth. Uh, uh, yes, very sick. From a little. Mm -hmm. It's possible. The Friday, mm -hmm. nothing. Nothing talk. Como que esa semana que pasó hubo un, como una, una, ¿cómo se llama? Es una ola de gripe. Que ah, es una ola de gripe, porque está por medio vivo, mi familia, mi hijo, mi familia acá alrededor, yo, todos con gripe. En la oficina estamos llenos sí, de gripe. Exactly. Is... Seguimos trabajando. All right. People continue working. I'm going to go to a different, a different uh, group. Jose, he sent some information to the to the chat. Check it out. Sorry. My bad. Let me go to a different group. Okay, people, continue working. Hi. It's me. Uh, Hi, teacher. My future. No. No, uh, no the other thing of the characteristic. It's chat. Straight. 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 I see. Cha. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Characteristic. Okay. And the pronunciation it's is chat. Characteristics, okay? Characteristics. Yes. So this 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 person Steve Jobs he did he found uh did he found a petrol company? Yeah, he was the the owner of he I was didn't. the owner of the Pixar company. I didn't know when the when yes when the company lost a lot of million of dollars he was the the owner. Oh wow. Yes, but uh, he he saw when the company was suc successfully no, success, and he say, eh, "Si yo hubiera sabido cuánto iba a ganar, le hubiera perdido mucho más." That's what he said. Yes. Because uh, uh, the Pixar had a um, season 
the bad, bad uh, result. A lot of years with the bad result. Yes, interesting. The yes, it is interesting information. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, characteristic. Um, passion for job. Yes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Passion of for. Yeah. Smart. No. In work. Yeah. In what do you say? Ignore. Yes. In work. Ignore. But nobody. Nobody. Yes. But what yeah. I gonna say, Stephanie says something. Teamwork. Teamwork, yes. Exactly. Uh -huh. Teamwork is teamwork and unido. Teamwork is or, or no teachers. Yes. Yes. Join. Action in double S. W S. Double S. Yes. Right. W. Uh -huh. Just write. Just write in the first one. In the first one. Just write passionate. Ah yeah yeah. Uh, yeah yeah. Write passionate. Passionate. Okay. Remove Passion. for job. Passionate. Passionado. No, for no, no. the job. <laughs> Passion, okay. Passion. This. Um, Passion and smart, no teamwork. Okay, okay. nice, continue. Um, how do you say, teacher, at the mood is have very um persistent how do you say in english consistent persistent persistent no con consistent ah consistent consistent but this is consistent it's the same consistent uh, it's a person who likes to try 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 yes try 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 consistent mm -hmm. or you can say persistent uh, <laughs> persistent yeah. yes persistent too Okay. Also, constant learning. Yeah. It's even innovated, yes? This constant, constant learning. This. Okay. Let me go to a different group, people. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. All right, continue. He said he worked on Wall Street. He worked in Wall Street from 1986 to 1994. Okay. 1994. Okay. Other point like Amazon is the company Mm -hmm. Amazon is the company Amazon is a company online bookstore Amazon is the company Online. Ah, sería is a company. Amazon is the online company. Or is an online company. 
Besos es doble, okay. doble, doble E, besos. Besos. Mm. It's an American. American who founded the successful. Successful is just one L, only one L. Okay. I think I think he's no longer the CEO of, of uh, Amazon. I think he quit. No, it's not sorry, it's not una, 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 una. CEO. There's just one E, just one. Sorry, I said it was double E, but no, it's just one. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, is one e yes exactly thank you sorry my bad i thought it was two but no it's just one e in google said he is a ceo of amazon no he was he was yes. the, the ceo of, of, of uh, okay of, uh, he was he was he stopped, he stopped, I think he quit, I'm not sure, but he stopped being the, the, the CEO of Amazon on July of 2021, last year. Okay. You find the information there if you, if you see, like click on, over there, over there, Jeff, Be uh, Jeff Bezos Wikipedia. Baja un poquito. <laughs> he is the founder. No, he's the founder, but he's not he's not the the CEO and you know, you know, he's not the CEO anymore. Mm -hmm. he's the former president. He was he's the founder and he was the CEO of, of uh, Amazon. Okay. Guys, continue working, okay? You're doing a good job. Thank you for working together. Is your key for phone? How are you guys doing? You finish? Answer. Did you guys finish? Yes, teacher. Almost, almost, teacher. Okay. That's what I said. You <laughs> finish it. You say almost. <laughs> <laughs> Who should I believe? I don't know. It, it is okay. Okay. It is okay. Show me, please. Watch. Thank you. Could you read Nelson or can we talk a little about Steve Jobs? Okay. I read. Okay. Steve Jobs is founder of Apple. Steve John. Steve Paul John was prominent American computer scientist and businessman. He was the creator of the this personal computer and founder of Apple Computer, an innovator company company in the computer industry. He was characterized by having visionary ideas in the field of the personal computers mobile telephony and digital music. Choose he revolutionized his sector for more than three decades decay through his product. Okay, thank you for reading. La esa que pusieron en hips by and chips. Leader hips dice. Yeah. Leader chip. And you say leader en carreras. Yeah. Hips en carreras. <laughs> okay. Okay. Leader en carreras. <laughs> okay, it's okay. okay oh, sure. listen, oh my listen, God. listen to the paragraph. I'm going to read, so listen to the pronunciation, okay? I'm yes. Okay. Uh, founder of Apple, Steve Paul Jobs was a prominent American computer scientist and businessman. He was the creator of the first personal computer and founder of Apple Computer, an innovative com company in the computer industry. He was characterized by having visionary ideas in the field of personal computers, mobile telephony, and digital music. Thus, 
he revolutionized the sector for more than three decades through his products. Okay, yes, it's okay, it's perfect. Steve Jobs was a good leader. Okay, may he rest in peace. Uh, quitemos la S a leaderships, la S última. Okay, la última. Okay, yes. Okay, all right. Thank you, teacher. And just, pra just, just practice what you're going to present because you're going to present this with everybody, okay? Okay, teacher. Let me go to the other groups just to see how, how they finish, okay? Okay. Aha, como octava. Aha, 80. 80, así, o 80 es. No sé si se puede escribir Elias. Elias. Yes, yes. No, no, no. Yeah. Así de Elias. With uh, okay. 73.200 million, he became the. Elias. The no. what? Sorry. Uh, oh. Octava, teacher. The eighth. Eighth. Uh -huh. Eighth. Uh -huh. Eight. The H. Eight. Yeah. Uh -huh. No, 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 no. Eight. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me see. Eight. Yeah. No, no, the one I wrote down. Look. Let me find it. Ah, oh, the eight. 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 H T H H H G H Th. Okay. Yes. He became the eighth most 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 rich person rich? in the world. Mm -hmm. No, no, yeah. rich, rich, no, rich, no. It's rich. It's rich. Remove, remove most. Most is eight. not necessary. Ah, okay. okay. The eight eight richest. richest. Uh -huh, okay. Exactly. Richest person. Person in the world. Yeah, yeah. In the world. And I think yeah. he's like I think he's the second uh, most richest person, the richest person now. I think he's the second one or the third one. Because the first one is, I think the first one is Elon Elon Musk. Yes. Musk. Mm. Imagine the eight. My God. I think this person, this person, a uh, uh, mark, he makes like more than one hundred dollars a a second. Cada segundo gana como cien pesos. Lo que ganaron una semana nosotros. Imagine. That's unfair. All right, we're gonna go back to the to the main session, and we're going to present this with everybody. Okay. okay. So let's go back. Okay. There were five groups. Why does it keep running? in progress people hello we're back here and uh i want to hear the first group the first group carla velasquez nelson edgardo sandra and wilfredo you guys your group thank you for sharing people let's listen to them go Okay. Let's let's read, teacher. Or yes, are you going to read? Oh no, you go ahead. 
Go read. Are you are you going to read, Nelson? Okay. Ah, okay. <coughs> it's from the rapport. <coughs> the report John was promoting promoting American computer science and businessman. He was the creator of the first personal computer and founder of Apple Computer and innovator company in the computer industry. He was characterized, characterized by having visionary idea in the field of personal computer, mobile telephony, and digital music. Do, does he revolutionize the sector for more than three de decades through his product? Okay, yes, this man was a good leader, okay? In, in, in so many different ways, he was a good, a good leader. All right. Thank you guys for presenting Steve Jobs. Okay. I think, uh, yeah, you can stop sharing. I think there's another group with the same person. I'm not sure. Uh, let's continue with another group. It's, this group is with Ophelia, Susana, and Sulma. Are you guys there? Okay. Yes, I, I sure. Okay, please. Um, eh, you see the presentation? Yes, we can see it. Okay. We eh, talk about Jeff Bezos, Amazon. He is, he was a uh, Amazon founder. Uh, Jeff Bezos is an American who founded a successful logistic company around the world. He was CEO of Amazon. He is an electrical engineer, graduate, graduate from Princeton University in 1986. He worked in Wall Street from 19... 87 to 1994, he founded aerospace manufacturer in 200. Bezos was then the richest man in modern history in July 2018 for Forbes. The New York Times described a, to Jeff Bezos like a most influential personality. All right. Yes. Thank you Only. for sharing. Yes, it's okay. It's okay. Thanks. Excellent. Thank you for sharing. Thank you so much for that. Okay. We have seen two of the most important people in the world. Another person is group. Sorry. Uh, the group with Edwin, Alexander, Gabriela, Gloria, and Jose Ernesto. That group. Ella, please. <clears throat> can you see the, yes, we the presentation? Can. Yeah. Okay. Well, I didn't know about this guy. By the name, I'm, I'm guessing that he's the founder of, of, of the four, the cars, I mean. Who's reading? I start reading. <coughs> I read. He was he was an entrepreneur in the American industrial mobile giant for. Who's next? <laughs> I think you have to read, just you. <laughs> okay. For okay. is for to remember <clears throat> for the special sensitive to think uh, beyond the needs of <clears throat> the people. True <clears throat> to this idea about competition <clears throat> and uh, and the free market for 
did not try to money Monopolize. 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 High spending in the mother of business orga organization <clears throat> that have them the maximum diffusion. Okay. He was a pioneer in industrial engineering and increased production performance with quality and collaborated with the first. Bye. Okay, and I am motivated by <clears throat> his inspiration to improve, improve, to achieve great change, and that his hobby of mechanic may <clears throat> hit a great business leader. Is that it? Okay, now let me then let me finish there. And uh, another group, this group uh, number four, I think, is Joanna, Anna, Lourdes, and Pamela. Can you please present your activity? Uh, Hi, hello. teacher. Hello. Hi. <laughs> we coincident with the the first group. Okay. Could you see our presentation? Mm -hmm. I guess see everything. Yes. Yes. The our leadership is Steve Jobs. He born the 1955 and he died the 2011. He he was American businessman. Uh, he was owner of the Ample Company and the Pixar Company between more, yes. <laughs> more company. The, oh, I'm sorry, teacher. Yes, okay. the, the characteristic of the leader leadership um, we found the following. The passionate for job, uh, he was very smart. He was innovative and constant learning. Uh, <clears throat> he learned to work for teamwork. He was consistent. He was a charismatic piano. He was visionary in open mind. Open and mind. Um, the main uh, characteristic he learned from his mistake for the business. All right, that's okay, it's perfect. Thank you for your uh, presentation. You, you're welcome. Yes. Can you stop sharing it? Yes. And uh, well, we have to continue, we have to finish. We cannot leave this hanging and uh, I think group number two with Ada, Rosa, and Walter. They are the only ones missing. Hola. Ada, Rosa, and uh, Walter. Did you yes, present? Yeah. You haven't presented your your. Okay. Yes, it's a it's a short presentation. Let me. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. We're going to talk about Mark Elliot Zuckerberg. He was born in 1984. He's the CEO and creator of Facebook. An American man, he's an American man, magnet, internet entrepreneur, and philanthropist. He launched Facebook in February 2004 with his roommates, Eduardo Savarin, Dustin Moskowitz, and Chris Hosh. Hush. In December 2016, Zuckerberg was ranked 10th on Forbes list of the world's most powerful people.
people. And the last thing uh, with 73,000 millions. Yeah, 70, 73,200 millions. 200 millions. He became the eighth richest person in the world. Okay, I think he, I think he has money. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this person He's a has guy. <laughs> I just need one million. I just need one million and I'll be I'll be happy with one million. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for your participation and for the presentations. That was outstanding. Let me take attendance real quick. In that way we can go to bed faster. And I tell me you stay, okay? Sorry. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Let me continue here. Uh Ada Patricia. <clears throat> Present. Uh, Adriana Stephanie. Present. Ana Selmi. Present teacher. Gabriela Alejandra. Present. Gloria Elizabeth. Here. Guadalupe del Carmen. Guadalupe was here, but then she left. Jose Ernesto. Present teacher. Julia Patricia. Present. Hi. Carla Veronica. Present teacher. Lourdes Beatriz. She, she's sick. She's there, but she's completely fine. Yes. Luis was not here today. And uh, Nelson, you're there, right, Nelson? Present teacher. Hi, Nelson. Okay, very good. Oh, Ophelia Orellana. Here, teacher. Pamela Beatriz. Hello, good evening. Hi. Rosa Elena. Present teacher. Sandra Gladia. Le estás hablando, pero si quieres algo hecho de alguna manera específica, pues lo hubieras hecho tú. A mí no me pagan lo suficiente para hacer mi trabajo y aparte el tuyo. Consíguete a otro idiota que lo haga por ti, porque claro, eres muy inservible para hacerlo tú mismo. Oh, no, no para. Shame of you. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, but people, I have I have heard more I have heard crazy things like here. Fights, arguments with the husband, <laughs> with the wife. Uh, so don't worry, okay? He escuchado cosas peores, Okay. Susana Carolina. Present. Walter White. Present teacher. Wilfredo. Rosaura. Hello. Present teacher. Present. Flor de Maria. And uh, Edwin Alexander. Present. People, thank you for being here today. I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Okay. Yes. And sleep well. Okay. <laughs> Good night. Bye-bye. Good, sure. Good night. Have Good night. 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 Susana is here, but she's not here, so I don't know. She's there, but she's not there. <laughs> All right. This is uh, possible. <laughs> yes. All right, uh, Anna. Hi, teacher. Do you have any questions about what we've, we've seen so far? The topics um, or anything, the vocabulary that we have seen? Honestly, um, for until this class, no, sir. It's clear for me the, the, the topic. Okay. Okay. Or do you have any questions about anything else in general? Mm. In general, um, I am uh, working in, in more practice. In my, okay. 
English because mm -hmm. I feel um, I am very insecure, insecure, mm -hmm. and I need more more practice. You have, for... you have. Yes, yes. Continue. Sorry. Yes, uh, reading, reading mm -hmm. for me is easier. Um, for me, it's more complicated. Not only the speaking, the listening. Mm -hmm. Listening is more um, in the level of complication. <laughs> complication is okay, teacher. Yes, yes. Complication. The first is listening. Mm -hmm. The second is uh, speaking. But reading for me is, is, I feel more comfortable because in my work, I, I read a lot of in English. Mm -hmm. Okay. But Let when me I you. need to, le to speak, I feel. Secure. Okay, let me tell you, let me tell you that, that your speaking is good. Your speaking mm -hmm. is good, your fluency is good, your grammar is good. There are just very few grammar things that you have to improve, but that's normal. But what you need to improve right now, it's your pronunciation. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I, it's good. I understand. I understand. But you have to, uh, you have to, how can I say this? Acquire the, the accent, the accent. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But your English is good. Yeah. Your English is good. Yes. It's really good. Yes, but I... I need to practice more, 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 exactly. more, yeah. more. That's, that's what we need. We need more. to practice more. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Okay. Mm, yeah. Okay, Anna. I yeah, have a but I am happy with. Okay. I'm sorry, teacher. Yes, I have a question for you. Yes. Yeah. Is, is there, you know. I'm very young, you know, I'm still, I'm still learning. I have been teaching for like six years or seven years, uh, but I'm still improving, you know, I'm straight, I'm still, you know, acquiring, getting more ideas. So <clears throat> is there uh, an activity or do you have any recommendations for me to improve the class or to make the class better? Um, in my opinion, teacher, I like um, your, dyna your dynamic. Yes. Your dynamic. Uh, dynamic for, yes, for the class, because uh, you try to motivate mm -hmm. to participate the, mm -hmm. the almost uh, classmate. Mm -hmm. But uh, I feel uh, how do you say shy? I feel shy, shy yeah. when you ask and, and we, we don't give answer. Mm -hmm. But I try to, to, yes. to give I, answer, but uh, I know that because I like participate teacher because that's good. for that's me, good. For me, is my way to learn. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I like and I like people that participate. And I always I always try to to make people you know to have people involved in what we're mm -hmm. doing. Okay. But that's that's the point. That's the point. You know, to include yeah. everybody. Yeah. It, for me, it's a good point because uh, I know that each teacher has the own way exactly. to, to learn. And in our case, uh, for, for us, it's the new way. Because okay. in the last level, mm -hmm. we, um, do you say, we have a recurrent teacher in the, the way for, for us uh, was other. For example, the last teacher, we, uh, we practice uh, with 
crowd the a lot of videos. A lot of videos. And the last, the more, more, how you say, activities for team. For, mm -hmm. in, in your case, uh, for me is is good because uh, motivate you motivate us for participate and we we are organized with the the book for mm -hmm. complete for for me it's okay teacher for okay me. that's okay mm -hmm. thank you that that motivates me makes me happy you know if you're thank happy you, i'm teacher. happy if you're happy i'm happy yeah. yes i am okay. happy teacher <laughs> Okay, excellent. Well, thank you, Anna. A pleasure. Yes. Okay. No, thank you, teacher, for your passion with me. I try. I try my best. <laughs> I try my best. Right. On on uh on Thursday, the first class, in the first class, I I I felt, I mean, physically, physically speaking, yeah. I felt really bad. Yes. And I was because... I was to speak, I was speaking. Because I had to, was my my obligation to be here. Yeah, uh, yeah but I, I I feel better now, you know. Yes, like, happy, yes, happier yes. with more enthusiasm. Yes, you no, know? yes. no. But it was a hard teacher because the physical condition <clears throat> it was not good. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, a pleasure, Anna. Thank you very much for being no, here. thank you for you, teacher. Thanks. I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night, teacher. Okay. See you tomorrow. All right. See you tomorrow. Bye.